Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We just arrived in Salt Lake City, Utah. Yes, we haven't. We, I think we were here only for a few hours once uh, visiting somebody. Right. Yeah, very short trip last time, but yeah. this time we are here for two days. Yes, we are for the whole weekend. Right, because we heard that Salt Lake is a pretty good foodie yeah. destination. Mm -hmm. And with all of our research and everything, mm -hmm. it's going to take two days to right. really go through everything from all the research and from everyone who's given us suggestions that's right that's of right. what to do where to go yeah and it's all from you guys oh so, yeah yeah so where are we this morning we are at sweet lake biscuit and limeade Lime, limeade right mm -hmm. sweet yeah. lake biscuit and limeade yeah, lots of uh, recommendations for this place we have. Uh -huh. so now we're gonna check this out and see what they have i'm hungry you ready ready let's go We just got seated. Check out this menu, scan that. They have a very expansive biscuit and limeade menu. Speaking of that, we got the honeydew mint cucumber limeade. And they had different kinds, but this one caught our attention. But look, this is the most fanciest limeade I've seen, right? So let's give it a try. This is outrageously good. Is this sugar? It has to be a sugar rim. Yeah, sugar rim. Perfect taste of that cucumber and honeydew. The mint is not too minty. It's just barely there, but you can taste it. Oh, this thing just screams, where is my gray goose, right? That's what it's screaming right now. But it's early, so we're having it uh, as is. This is great. You're going to like this, babe. Okay, babe. My turn. Oh. That is crazy addictive. You can really taste that lime flavor. It's not overly sweet at all. Perfect amount of tartness. And if you want it any sweeter, you just lick your rim with that sugar. This is their Haas. What it is, it is a chicken patty with bacon with their signature biscuit. Uh, we had an over easy egg. You can get your eggs any way you want and with gravy. Go yeah. ahead. Homemade gravy. Homemade gravy. Let's go ahead and taste this gravy out. Mmm. Delicious gravy. Gravy. It's meaty. You can taste the pepper in there. It's a little bit kick in that gravy as well. Kind of reminds me of a kind of like a, a cream, like a cream of mushroom, but without the mushroom flavor. That is an amazing gravy. This is a quinoa hash. So let's try this out. Look, it's nice and really well cooked. Mm. That's also a delicious quinoa hash. I think I'm gonna sauce it up a little, a little bit with their sauces. Right, they do give you a couple table side. Oh, a habanero, that might be a little hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, green. Look, looks good, plus they got ketchup. So far. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get ready and cut into this bad boy. I'm gonna try this out. Look at that shot. Bacon, the chicken, the biscuit, wow. Get that gravy, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Bananas Bayou. They had two desserts here. They had one with strawberries and one with bananas. So we got the bananas Bayou. What it is is they're amazing biscuits along with brulee bananas, fresh cream, blueberries, and almond slivers. We're gonna go dig right in to this bananas here. Let me get some of this biscuit. Very that interesting biscuit, biscuit with brulee banana. Yeah, it just falls apart. You can see how freshly done that is the bite with that biscuit. It's going to be a big bite. This biscuit is the perfect vessel for this meal. Those bananas are delicious. It is sweet. So this is going to go perfectly with my coffee. Wow. You're going to love this bit. You talked it up so much. I got to try it now, right? Got some of that banana, biscuit, caramel. 
fresh whip. There we go. Every bite's gonna be a big bite if you want all the elements in it. It is sweet, but delicious. I'm a fan of bananas, so it's perfect for me. Um, the biscuit we already had on the breakfast early on the breakfast um, the Haas right so it's the same one great biscuit very flaky in fact we'll give you a shot they have a refrigerator over here that has a take-home biscuit mix if you want to make your own yeah wow it's an all-around biscuit huh baby yeah I love wow. the caramelized on the banana a little bit of a of like sugar crystals on it. Mm -hmm. And that car, yep, that caramel, that fresh cream. Yeah. It's delicious. Oh yeah, fresh cream makes a world of difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thumbs up. Here's that refrigerator with the biscuits all done. Just have to pop them in the oven. That was a great way to start off our Salt Lake City food tour. Wow, this is one of those meals where it is so good. You just close your eyes and you rock back. It's like a rock back moment. Like, oh, that was so good. Rock back moment, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. Good thing we shared it. Yes. Because now we're going to try to check in at the hotel. Yeah. And, of course, we have a couple more food places to hit up. We do. Uh, before dinner. We do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a good thing we're, we're and just so, and then you guys already know we share all of our meals. Right. So only because we can fill it in, so we can fill in the full day. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It is a beautiful day out here. It is. It's only like 60 degrees. Yep. I have my shorts on though. Yeah, you do. Uh, I see a lot of snow on the mountains it's way over there. Beautiful. Yeah. And I think we're really close to Park City, right? The skiing uh, and resort. Snowbird. Snowbird. Yeah. Are, are we close to Park City? I don't know. I, don't know. I have to look that up. I have to look. But that up. it is fresh air. We're not used to this fresh air because we're from LA. Right? I know. I'm probably gonna have a sore throat in the morning because this air is too fresh. Yeah. But we'll see, babe. Let's go, babe. We just came across the world's first KFC. Yes, and it's here in Salt Lake City. We're gonna go. I hear this is a buffet. I think so. It's like the only KFC I've seen, buffet. Seen pictures of it on yeah. Yelp, and yeah, it was. I think there's another buffet, and I think in Japan. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So we're gonna, um, we're not gonna eat here, only because well, we might we get just, a drumstick. Uh, maybe a drumstick, yeah. yeah. Um, only because we have some other eating schedule, but we have to come and check it out. I mean, it's the world's first KFC. Well, who knew? I mean, many people think it would be in uh, Kentucky. Uh, yeah, exactly. Not, no. not in Utah, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> All places. Yes. Let's so, go check it out. Let's go look at it, babe. So as you walk in the door, there's like artifacts everywhere. Yeah, it's like a little museum here. All right, and here's his uh, pressure cooker. Yep. yep. Here it is right there. This is by far the nicest KFC that I've personally been in. Check it out. We have Colonel Sanders' suit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's his real suit. And this is a big KFC, too. Yeah. And that's his, uh, his, his tidy whities right there. And just scan the restaurant. You can kind of see how big this place is. And I guess that's the, uh, the original signage. Mm -hmm. It was right over here. Armin Cafe. And I do like this, uh, I guess, family dining table. It's a huge table with the, uh, the bucket light on top. That's, that's cool. So you could bring the entire family here and have a chicken feast. And look at this wall, commemorating Colonel Sanders. Now, who remembers back in the day, you used to see him actually in TV commercials. Do you remember that? I remember that. That's way back in the day. Colonel Sanders. Hey, look, babe. You went to Disneyland. <laughs> Can't escape it. Can't escape it. Now we have to get a piece of chicken now that we're here. We have to. So I believe this was a buffet, but unfortunately no more buffet. So it's just a regular big eating area. Even has a meeting room here, banquet room meeting facilities. Yes. And yes. some of the tables have some cool tabletops where it has a little bit of the history. But yeah, this. This is cool. Yeah. They're very cool. We ordered one 
thigh. That's a humongous thigh. It is a thigh, a, a big one. Yeah. I've never seen one quite that big. Go ahead and pick it up, babe. Alrighty. It is hot, it's fresh. Oh, Look at like that. Two pieces like together. Whoa, it, 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 it fused. We have some chicken fusion right there. We do. So we got like a twofer. Mm hmm we do. Here is the thigh. There's a little piece for you, babe. Of course, it's the chicken skin. Oh, wait, wait, don't bite it yet. Ah, okay. <laughs> for the first bite, we had to get Colonel Sanders and Pete Harmon, which I believe he was the one in charge of the franchise. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, ready, Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Right there. Where am I going to bite? Right here. That piece, right there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Secret herbs. Spices. spices. Typical KFC chicken. Yeah. Good. It is nice and uh, crispy. Mm -hmm. And they are making these fresh. Mm -hmm. right Yum. So... Here at KFC, it's a must stop here in Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. At least at, at this location, because it's the original where they started it all. Yeah, and this is just a little bit of history. It's kind of nice. Oh, it? yeah. There you go. It's Glad good. we stopped. I like it. Here's another place that popped up on our foodie radar. Mm -hmm. Hires Big H. And they're known for their root beer freeze. Yes. So I was gonna look and see if this is, you know, remember the old Hires root beer, if it's this connected maybe? You know? I, I don't think so. No, I mean, I'm you could ask. Look it up and see. Yeah. yeah. But okay. uh, I know it's like a like a burger joint here, uh -huh. but uh, that's what they're most famous for, is it root beer flo uh, oh. floats and freezes. Right, so we're gonna get a root beer freeze. Yeah. Root beer freeze, it's thick, as you can see. Nothing is coming out. It's so frozen, gave, for they sure. They gave us a straw, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be using the spoon first. Now, you did ask the manager about the Hires root beer. Right, the, if it's connected to the Hires root beer that we know, you know, back in the day, it's not connected, it's just a name. So, this is what it looks like. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice and thick, almost it like is. a thick malt shake. Yes. Ready, babe? Yeah, try it out, babe. that vanilla taste and that root beer taste that is delicious this is really like a consistency of a wendy's freeze consistency of a wendy's freeze more of a vanilla vanilla more of a vanilla taste and you that little root beer hint in the back mm -hmm. this is delicious Yeah, mm -hmm. root beer, vanilla ice cream flavor. Mm -hmm. It is not carbonated at no, all. Not at all. Yeah, so so it's different than a root beer float. Right, and I wouldn't say it's a shake only because shake you can usually drink. This one you can't drink. This one definitely needs a spoon. Uh, they did give you a, a straw in case yeah. it starts melting a little bit right. later. But this is the size, five dollars. Mm -hmm. That's the size of it. So we'll probably finish this before it starts melting. Yeah, it's very creamy. I like it's, it. It's really creamy. I like it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we stopped by and checked it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, if you're a fan of root beer, mm, floats or freezes, mm -hmm. check this place out. Yeah, this is good. Recommend it. Two thumbs up. Look at that. 30 minutes out of town, you come to this. Yes, we are on the way to Snowbird Ski Resort. Uh, no, we're not gonna go ski. Well, it's kind of warm. But we're going to check it out. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yes. It's quite warm here, so you can see all the runoff from the snow and this creek. It's so relaxing. And then how does that work? You see that rock? It's just kind of balancing. Yeah, this is on the way up to Snowbird. Yeah. I want to go down and touch the, uh, the water, too. Yeah. Okay, babe. I stepped in the uh, halfway in the water. Oh yeah, I but it's feel. but it's creek water. It's all I good. I know, but man, my sock got wet. Yeah, that's okay, babe. You got it. Cold? Oh, uh, it's ice cold. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't recommend drinking. No. This uh, creek water, but uh, just no. touching it is fine. It's pretty. Oh yeah, very cold. 
We have made it to Snowbird. Yeah, we have. It's a little bit windy. Uh, this is one of the sides where the gondola is. It is uh, down right now um, because this is like spring. It's almost, it's uh, April, almost May. So right. we're going to go drive up. I know he was saying some of it is open. We're going to go take it out and see. We're not skiing today, but it's going to be neat how to see the resort is open. Yeah, but look at this. That looks very yeah. beautiful. Picturesque. Oh my gosh. I think you said you skied here when you were in high school. Yeah, high school years. My sister and I used to travel on a bus to all of these places, and we've been here. Here, Park City, we've been in Colorado, Taos, New Mexico, all the ski spots. Wow. Yeah. Back, back in the day. Back in the day. Now my bones would be hurting if I tried to ski. Mine too. Yeah. We got our new gear. We did. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary. With the snow snowbird on it? Yeah, there it goes right there. Yeah. Of course, we had to get some souvenirs, right? You know it. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> I think I'm not skiing. Anyway, yeah, Where we'll give we? you a shot. This, uh, this is a cool little, uh, I guess this is like a, a base camp or yeah, something? Yeah, base camp, and people are skiing right in front of us. We're going to go take a look. Maybe this is the reason why we're a little bit out of breath doing some stairs, because we're at 8,000 feet right now. I'm Hello. Video. Yeah, you're on video. Like, this is a really good view, though, baby. It is. It's it is. windy. It's not as windy here, though. I think because we're, we're behind some buildings. We're a child. So I'll take a picture yeah. with that Snowbird logo right here. Leaving Snowbird. Look at how beautiful. It's a big valley. Right yeah. There. I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but absolutely gorgeous. After that long drive down the mountain, yep. I got an appetite. Yep, we do. So now it is the ready one. We've had this on our list for a while, huh, baby? That's right. Yeah. This, I believe this is like a Salt Lake City landmark for Mexican food. Yes, so it we're going right to go try it out. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. We just got seated. They brought us our chips and salsa right here. It looks really good. Check it out. And they got a pretty expanded menu. You know, so I think I know what I'm going to get. Uh, one of our viewers recommended getting the mango enchiladas with mole. I know it sounds weird, but I'm looking forward to it. So right in the middle of the day, we have no wait. I hear the wait could be quite long. So they recommend reservations. They're for right now during the week especially. There is no wait. And right when you sit down, they give you some chips and salsa. Yeah, and just to note, it yep. is 3 p.m. Yes. Here is the salsa. It's good chunky salsa. See if it's spicy. Mm. A little bit of kick. You're going to taste that roastness of that tomato in there. It's delicious. I have the classic pina colada. Cheers, babe. Oh, some salute there, babe. She has the mango margarita. Yes, I got the frozen mango margarita. Ooh. Delicious. This tastes like what we get. Our shaken, hand-shaken pina colada, but frozen, blended. It tastes exactly the same. It's a good one, huh? This is a good one. It's a keeper. It's gonna go perfect with my meals. Oh yeah, great mango flavor. I like it in the frozen drink right here. Wow. Really can't taste too much of the tequila, which is dangerous, uh -oh. right? I got the emoladas, which is a vegetarian dish. So these are three freshly done tortillas and they're stuffed with refried beans and they're covered in mole negro. But, um, dig on this. Here pickled, this is the pickled onion and some cheese in this mole sauce, which this place is known for their mole. That looks delicious right there. That flavor of that mole. So rich. It's delicious. You can taste it. You can taste the nuts in there. You can taste the, the chocolate in there. You can taste 
a little bit, just a slight hint of spiciness in there. It's a little bit on the sweet side, but with the pickled onions, it is perfect for this dish. So it's just refried beans inside? Just refried beans inside, that's it. This is delicious. You're going to like this one, babe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to go have these. Yeah, we are. So you get to try the mango enchiladas. Yeah. Here we go. Mango enchiladas. And I ordered a side of rice and beans. So it doesn't come with it, so I just got it extra. So let's try this. I believe the protein is chicken inside here. They do a lot of chicken and turkey. Yes, they do. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow, I'm not expecting that. It has that nice mango tangy mole flavor to it. It's delicious. I'm glad I got to try this one out. And whoever suggested it, thank you very much. It is on point. It's great, perfect with the rice and beans on the side. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And your mango margarita. Oh yeah, can we follow it up? I'm in mango heaven. This is it. After reviewing the menu and looking at it one more time, it's pork carnitas. I think you liked it, babe. Yep, we are done. Including our margaritas. Hey, keep it classy, babe. Use a chip. That's a wrap for a red iguana. That was good. I'm stuffed. I am. I'm stuffed. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I think we're going to go back to the room and rest for a little bit. And then we're going to go uh, yeah, check out some more stuff. But until then, uh, we need to rest a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. We got up at like 3 o'clock this morning. 3.30. Uh, oh, 3 sorry, 3.30. Just to catch yeah. the plane. So we're just a little bit tired. Yep, I think a little bit of rest is in order. Okay. Let's go, babe. Let's go snooze. We got up from our old people's nap. We did. Much need a couple hour rest. Yes, yes. Now we ended up here at the state capitol. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go walk in. It's gonna close probably in about 45 minutes or so. I think that's enough for us to go see it, huh, babe? Oh yeah, for sure. Let's go sure. walk in and look around. Yeah, check it out. It's it's beautiful. It's nice. Yeah. It's on like on top of a hill over here in Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the state capitol, you can't see it, but on the other side of the state capitol is the snowy covered mountains. It's beautiful. It is. This is the ground level when you walk in and this is where you can see the seal on the ground. Mm -hmm. So it kind of gives you an idea how big it is. Yeah, and you see all the little paintings also on the wall. There's some little artifacts here and there's a the bell. We're gonna go check out that bell. This is a recreation of the Liberty Bell. The one that we saw in Philly. Yeah, we saw the real one yeah. in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. but they even have the, the repro here, like with the, with the crack, look at yeah. that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And if you're wondering if it's a real, it is, knock on it. It's real. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This place is beautiful. The state capital of Utah in Salt Lake City. Yes. It's a free self-guided tour. I know during the day, it's open every day, every day? I think yeah, except for holidays. Yeah, I think so. And um, every day they have a walking tour that's done by people who work here and volunteers. So I come check it out. Oh yeah, lot, the day. plenty to see. Lots to see. One of the cool things that we didn't have in the video is a 45 star uh, flag, US yeah. flag. Mm -hmm. It's really big on display yes. in there. And in a self-guided tour, you, there's a lot of stuff to read. Yeah. So. I would say if you do a self-guided tour and really read everything and walk around, it'd probably maybe take you an hour. It wouldn't take you a full day. A many an hour or two, maybe. You think so? Right. But it was only two floors. Yeah. Yeah, an hour or this two. This is midweek and they close at 8 p.m.? They cl close at 8 p.m. every yeah. day, actually. 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah. So I would just, it's kind of interesting to see the hustle and bustle of the day. You know, if we come back again. Oh, yeah. It'd be way more busy, for yeah. sure. And those halls were empty. It's like it's like almost like uh, we don't even know if we were allowed to be in there. It felt like because it was so empty in there. Yeah. But I we know had, during the days it has we to had the myself. whole place to ourselves. Yeah, we the did. State capital. It was cool. <laughs>
way we're going to cap off our first night here in Salt Lake City is at Swig. Right. It's the home of the dirty soda. That sounds so interesting. But it looks like the uh, the eating area, the lobby is closed. So I think it may be just a to-go drive through place. It babe. might be. We're going to go up there and just see. But otherwise, we will go to the drive through yeah. see, see what they got. Here's the dirty soda menu. All different kind of mixes. Look at that. They got peanut butter cookie. We went through the drive-thru, we got our our swigs. Yes, our dirty sodas. Yes, mine's a Waikiki, which is a regular Coca-Cola, pineapple, and coconut cream. Mm -hmm. And mine is a Texas Tab, which is Dr. Pepper, a vanilla, and what else was there, baby? Do you remember? Um, coconut Dr. cream, too. I think so, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Pepper, vanilla, and coconut cream. Our first time. Cheers. Cheers. Try it out. Oh, it's delicious. Wow first time in my life coca-cola with pineapple juice and that is co really good let me see let me try some oh yeah you can taste the coconut <sighs> oh that's good right you can taste the coconut in mine mine's you can taste the dr pepper you can taste the coconut and you can taste the vanilla and it's delicious i can see a lot of people getting these dirty sodas and adding their alcohol in it Not yeah maybe. for sure yeah, so many different combinations. It's already all mixed for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Delicious. And, and we got some cookies. I'll show we you. Did. These cookies are cold because yes. they put them in the little fridge in yes, there. Yes, but I believe they're freshly baked, though. Yes, mm -hmm. I have, of course, my peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It smells peanut buttery, and I have the sugar cookie, and it has frosting on it. Yeah, it looks really good. That looks nice. Cheers, Cheers babe. babe. Try this out. It's a cold, chewy. Good peanut butter flavor. Mm -hmm. Sugar cookie. Delicious sugar cookie, but it's sweet. It's very sweet, huh? Really sweet. I, I need something like um some tea or some coffee with it. Our hotel very has good. tea. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Like that. So I'm going to save this one for when we get back to the hotel. Yeah. Very good cookies. Mm -hmm. And they have so many other kinds here, too. They do. They have... um. One with a coconut mm -hmm. flakes and chocolate chips. They have a they have a uh, cookie of the month. The cookie of the month is the pumpkin, pumpkin right. chocolate chip cookie. Um, mm -hmm. What else? They have some a bunch of different things. Yeah, this place is pretty good. Good, yeah. good for a, a sweet tooth, definitely. Yes, and this is a chain, so I think these are all over Salt Lake City. Yeah, the swigs, mm -hmm. and we have some shout outs. Babe. Oh, we do. Uh, Jake and Rax, happy birthday! Or oh, let's try that again. Jake and Rex, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And Joe and Mark, happy anniversary. Britt, Norm, Mitchell, Stacy, Gina, Chang Chang, Lily, happy birthday, guys. Wow, oh, happy uh, birthday. Susan and Stephanie Hamilton, thank you so much for watching. All of Frankie's friends, Frankie's is his coworker. Yes. All of Frankie's friends and family, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Uh, Shirley, thank you so much for watching. And Natasha and David, thank you so much for watching. All right. That's it, babe. That's a big list. Yeah, it is. Well, that was our first day in Salt Lake City. It was mm -hmm. full of good eats. Yes. Good sightseeing. Snowbird. Oh I'm wearing my snowbird sweatshirt still. This place is a beautiful. I can't wait to see what we do tomorrow. So we have one more day here. That's right. We go home tomorrow night, a little later flight. So we have mm -hmm. a full day. Oh, yeah. Which we're looking forward to it. Oh, we yeah. have a, another list of different food options to eat. We do. There's yeah. a lot of good eats here in Salt Lake City. Lots of good eats. Yes. Yeah, so until then, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.